like to do that. Time that I lost, I can never get back. I got kicked out the house, had to sleep in a trap. I'm wearing straight, watch your ass. Don't cap, I ain't never like hats. Pockets are shit, I'm a real fat. Give him that look at my attack. Look in the streets, I'm a fit. Before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when I drop videos, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It's your boy Vaughn, and I'm out. Jump! R.I.P. To the kiosk, baby. It's a sad day for the streets. No more fake baby nape. Gucci with the Louis on that joint. No more designer shirts. It's over with. They didn't took the kiosk out the game. And it's so crazy because a lot of y'all was asking me, like, was I still finna go crazy this year with the shirts and all this stuff? And I had some good ideas. I was hoping maybe we could even customize the hoodies. Yeah, we can't even customize none this year. Now, it's two things I want to say about this. For one, I can understand why they did it. They did it for copyright reasons. You know, they ain't want us having like Gucci, Louis, you know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff. Montclair, all that on our back walking around and they didn't get the license, you know what I'm saying? From those clothing brands to be able to make the clothes. You see what I'm saying? Versus like live, how live got all the baby nape and all that stuff already in the game where we can wear it. 2K don't so. When you make that type of stuff and you walk around with it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a copyright, And if y'all understand what I'm saying. And um, that's understandable, but they can just do like how 2K do it. Well, like, you got to kind of water down the brand, you feel what I'm saying? Like on 2K, they got cars and stuff that's like the real life cars, but they just change the name of you. Get what I'm saying? Like, we should be able to make the shirts too if we change the name or like... You know edit the logos or something like that and it's so crazy because i kind of seen this coming honestly i did see it coming it was like when they updated the kiosk and they made it only the top five shirts get um voted on or they only ones that get published whatever for the first seven days that's how i knew it was a wrap because it was like if it's five shirts they can easily monitor five shirts and tell whether or not you know what i'm saying those shirts was um name brand shirts you get what i'm saying but they don't trip about the multi stuff if you put like five different designers on, on on one shirt they don't care about that but if for me for whatever reason when i make the authentic real designer clothes it's a problem you know what i'm saying i don't know if i was going too crazy last year or what but it seemed like i couldn't make no shirts no more like i tried a couple weeks ago probably like a month ago or something i tried to make um a little plain gucci shirt you know something simple just look a little white gucci shirt i did at least like five times both on xbox and playstation every time i did it my stuff i always got the client i sent it through and wait for the couple days process come back the shirt disappear and i'm like dang what's going on so i i kind of knew it was coming and i kind of expected this you know especially since like the name brand clothes is getting out of hand some of y'all had weapons and stuff on y'all stuff i ain't gonna say the g regular you know they might try to demonetize me up but y'all know what i'm talking about y'all had some crazy stuff on them shirts you feel me but then it, again then again it's so crazy because this same stuff y'all had i ain't even, i'm not even talking to y'all when i say y'all like my subscribers you know what i'm saying aka my supporters i'm not really talking to y'all when i say this but i'm talking to the people who did it if y'all one of them people you in the shoe fit then you know i'm talking to you but these people even still put these stuff on the pro -Am shirts when you know when they make a team they got all this you know what i'm saying crazy stuff on their shirts and everything and they letting it rock out but somebody walk around when the park with it on it's a problem though you know what i'm saying i don't know maybe because it's not exposed more when you go to pro -Am, because it's like between you and those people the people you play versus the park it's like you know really open real you know what i'm saying I don't know, but the second thing I was going to say is how much you want to bet they're going to bring the kiosk back either next year or the year after that. Watch. When they could have just took the time out to find out what was going on and try to make it some type of way where we could do it now. But you know what they could have did, though? They could have took the, the logos like Nike and all that stuff, the stuff that's not in the game. And like and edit this somehow and put it in the kiosk where we can at least take those and make some shirts and add colors and try to finesse some stuff you see what i'm saying take like the the polo logo 
and put it in the in the, in the like community thing how everybody can use it but finesse it like make it like I ain't gonna say USPS, but make it like USPA or something. You feel me? Something that's not, you know what I'm saying, an off brand. And I'm not, I know those are two different things for y'all being in the comments. There's all them different. I'm just giving y'all an example. Like if they took the polo and, and edited a polo horse or took like USPS, even though that's not really a, a, a name brand, but take that and made it like USPA so y'all can understand what I'm saying. Like stuff like that. If they could have did something like that and remixed it, that'd be cool. But it's just like they want to take the lazy route and just take the whole kiosk out the whole game, not knowing that. That's a huge key factor, like, in the feature that they brought to the game that everybody was rocking with. Like, you, how you take that out the game out of all things? Now we forced to buy y'all shirts. Like, that was the, like, the, the broke route, you know? Like, let's say you ain't had no money. You can easily go to the kiosk, get you, like, a, a logo or something, throw it on a shirt. You can go to the kiosk and make you a black and, black and white shirt versus you going to the store and buying the shirt for, like, 300 VC that you probably ain't got. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I ain't want to wear the shirts, but to me, when I start making shirts, I never wore a shirt ever. Then I, all I wore was my shirts. I ain't wear no type of Nike shirts from the store, and that's crazy. Now, cause now everybody forced to spend that VC. It just it's kind of like another way for them to get some bread out of us. But I, I prefer if we can make any shirts and I can pay for it. I, they just need to bring the kiosk back exactly how it was before they touched it. Well, you need a hundred votes, but they should have been having it with like the top voters, you know? Cause I I, I mean not the top voters, the top shirt credit i was a top shirt creator before they took it out i got like a screenshot or something i remember i was though but i was one of the top shirt creators it's like y'all should let those people really rock out and let them do whatever they want to do and all the other people y'all should have monitored them you know what i'm saying and it's crazy though like they took that feature I, i'm so salty because i'm sitting there plot like yeah i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna come out with the gucci this louis this prada this i'm telling, i'm going crazy just thinking all the ideas i'm gonna do but look what happened i can't even go crazy for y'all i only got the shoes for y'all this year you feel me it ain't my fault now i'm like 95 percent sure the kiosk's not there i've been watching gameplay and i didn't see not ask a couple people i know who got the game they said they haven't seen it so i don't know if it's hidden somewhere in the game i don't know if it's gonna come here when 12 o'clock get here when everybody can play the game i have no idea but what i will say is i just got a feeling man it's gonna be back another year and they're gonna try to reintroduce it like it's something special and it's something new if we ain't already seen this just like y'all witnessed with the mask guys just like y'all witnessed with features that was in 2K before. Y'all witnessed it before, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it might happen again, you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this. It's your boy Von and the Mouty. Jump!